I'm Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Today we're going to talk about the Hawk 250. Um, there's a couple different dirt bikes that they're selling on Amazon. You can get them in other places, but I've uh, bought all of mine from Amazon. Let's go! This is the DLX and then there's the basic model. So when you're shopping for these, you can tell the difference because the regular model that's carbureted has a knobby tire on the front and the back where this one kind of has this on off-road kind of medium tire. Um, the forks are a dead giveaway because the, the less expensive version of this bike, which I had already and I ended up selling it, it has a regular shock on it. This one has an inverted shock. So that's a dead giveaway of which one's which. And also this one clearly says on the decals DLX which is the deluxe model, or I don't know what they call it, but it's the EFI version as well. Um, the first one that I got, it was the least expensive one that I could find. So I bought the dirt bike with the regular fork and the carburetor and it worked great. So there was nothing wrong with that bike except it was carbureted. Um, Tinkering with carburetors is something I've had to do my whole entire life. I'm old, so there's been carburetors on all the bikes that I've had, and they do require a lot of tinkering. They also require maintenance and making sure that things are cleaned out and that the jets are good and that kind of stuff. So it did take me a while to tune it up, get it into a good spot where it's easy to turn on. You have a choke as well, which is a little bit annoying, um, especially where I live where it's really cold sometimes and it's really hot sometimes. So you're not really sure how you should be running it or starting it. Usually you just have to warm it up and then you turn the choke off and it should run fine if you have it tuned right. Um, the DLX, you don't have to worry about any of that. I, I took this thing out of the box and put it together and literally put some gas in it and I started it and it fired right up. So it, it, it was pretty amazing. All of these bikes have been pretty amazing. If you guys haven't seen all the videos I've done, I've done like, I think I had six pit bikes at one point. I've had two of these. I've got this KPM back here, which I really like this street bike. It's really cool. Um, and I've got another pit bike back there. So every time they come out with something new, I try to get it so I can review it for you guys. Um, they don't give these to me. I have to pay for them with, out of my own pocket. So I do try to sell them off after I'm done doing my review. And that's why I don't have the other Hawk. But comparing the two, the box was about the same size. Everything is about the same size. It's about the same height. Um, and this bike is a little bit tall for me when I'm off road. If I got to get my feet down on this thing, good luck. So <laughs> I did adjust the shock a little bit and, uh, I've got videos on all of that and how to do it. When I ordered them on Amazon, they came from the same company. So they called me and they said, hey, you need a lift gate. How are we gonna be delivering these? Is this the correct address? They wanna make sure that they're not gonna to go to the wrong place, obviously, and check and make sure I'm a real person that just spent $2,500 on Amazon. So that's very reasonable. So they kind of go through that process. They let you know when it's gonna be there approximately and uh, both bikes showed up on a truck without a lift gate so I had to pull them into the back of my truck out of their truck so that was kind of a pain in the butt had they been able to get up my driveway which they could have but the driver was just kind of whatever I, I can't get into it on both of them both times actually every single bike that I have bought they just leave them at the end of my driveway and leave it up to me. So I've been putting them in the back of my truck, hauling them up here and then getting them out the, the hard way. So, um, so that happened with both of the bikes. We got them up here, unboxed them, put them together. Um, it, it wasn't a lot. If you've never done anything with a motorcycle before, you could probably figure it out. They have a video that shows you how to do everything. The front tire was off, the forks were down onto this metal rack that was holding everything. Um, the back tire was on, but it, the shock wasn't there, so it was all smashed up into the, to the fender. So it was really compact. The handlebars weren't on, obviously none of that stuff was on. Um, 
So you just had to kind of go through, put it together, put the back shock on, put the front tire on. So I had to have like this little Harbor Freight motorcycle jack that cost me, I think it was $20. So that was super worth it though. I mean, both bikes took me, even with the filming and with camera gear and everything else moving around, I still, I think I did both, both of them took me maybe an hour and a half to two hours to put together. Um, put gas in it, changed the oil, fired them right up and both of them, with the exception of the the first one that I got with the carburetor, I did have to do some tweaking. It did start right up, but it didn't run very well. So I kind of had to tune it up a little bit to get it to run well, because I did change the carburetor. So one of the things that people were saying when I was looking at that carbureted version is that you should change the carburetor. And so when you look at that on Amazon, it gives you like suggested things that other people had bought with that bike. There's a carburetor down there and some gaskets and some other stuff. So I bought it immediately. I didn't even try to start it with the stock one. I have, one, like I said, I think I had six pit bikes. I've got another one there. Every single bike that I bought, I haven't changed the carburetor except for that first one. And that was the one that was hardest to get to run right. Had I just started it, put gas in it and fired it up, I can almost guarantee it would have started up no problem and ran just fine. In hindsight, I wish that I had just not gotten the other carburetor and maybe just tried it with the stock carburetor. The one that I bought, you could change the jets and so I did that and I don't know that it made any difference or not to be honest with you. I really wish that I could do that over again and I probably will. I'll probably buy another one of those bikes. I put it up on Craigslist for sale and it sold within like four days or something like that. So the, the nice thing about doing these reviews for you guys is that these do sell fairly quickly. So after I got these things put together, we did a quick video on each one of riding them, kind of going out so you could hear what they sound like and see what they look like when they're going down the road. Um, and I did a video for both bikes. So why don't we take a look at those really quick and, uh, guys get a better idea of what these things can and cannot do. Okay, you guys, I gotta tell you, really super impressed. This is the first time I'm starting it. I did check the oil.
thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys subscribing. It's so helpful to my channel and it helps me so I can make more videos like this. I'd love to do this full time. So thank you guys that are subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, hit the bell button and you'll get notified next time I make a video and you will see me in the next one.